everyone. My name is Tom Eric and I'm the CEO and founder of Checked. I like to say that I'm a simplifying evangelist because that's what this is about. It's about making things more user friendly so that a digital tool helps you and not waste your time. So now we're going to talk about the health and security inspections uh, or safety inspections that most of you have to do in your building sites if not daily, at least a few times a week and month. So how can this be done in a more efficient and better way? Let's start with making a short introduction to what checked is. So in checked, we say the job is not done until it's checked. That also goes for your safety inspection rounds. So we want to be the standard industry standard for visual inspections. So that can be your safety round. You're out looking at things, pointing at things, telling people to fix things. That's what the safety round is about. But of course, you need to follow up on the tasks that people do and you need to have the documentation that people have actually done it. So that is where checks comes into the picture. So the challenge is that in a construction project, you have lots of people from your own company, but also subcontractors and other people working there. So the communication going between all of these people is hard to manage. So the problem is that we still use pen and paper when we do our inspections, just like we did when we built the pyramids. Pen and paper is good, but it's not the best thing that you can do. Many people also use their camera and they do recordings and pictures from the construction site. But how do you remember where this information is logged at first floor? room number three, in the corner, under the window, etc. Knowing where your information is recorded is also important. And then you need to share this information with the subcontractors or other people in your company. How is that done? And how do you follow up on the questions that you receive? Well, it's one meter, no two, it should be light gray, no dark gray, tomorrow, no, you have to do it today. All of this messaging forward and backward, we all know it. And this cannot be handled on SMS and email. So how can it be handled? Well, most of us are used to uh, using Google pretty much every day. It's easy to search and find the information that you like. Anyone can do that. And it's a digital tool. So instead of just searching for text and looking at text questions, if I want to find a construction site or the office of a client, I would use Google Maps. So we simply transfer that knowledge to checked and we use floor plans, facade drawings. If you're doing the inspections on a facade, you can take a Google map picture of a roof. If you're doing your safety inspection on a roof, no matter what kind of image you have, you can use that as an underlay in checked so that you can point where your issue is, take a picture of what it is and then delegate it to the person who is responsible to fix it. This is what it's all about. So in these, um, pictures, you will have, hand, have also the information, the timeline of who did it, when they did it, uh, etc. We will look at this live in just a minute. <clears throat> so what differs checks from other solution? First of all, it's live. It's a real app. That also means that if you go into a technical room or a basement, the app will still works. It doesn't need coverage to work. So you can still put in your items in the drawing still take your pictures, still uh, write in your text and everything will synchronize seamlessly in the background when you get coverage back. And it will then be in the cloud for use for anyone in the project. Actually, the people that you share decide to share it with, of course. And by a click of a button, you can take out your safety inspection report showing where you had issues, what the issues were with corresponding pictures, and you can follow this up with the responsible people. And of course, you will have this directly out from a safety inspection report that we will look on later. So the most important thing is when you find a problem, it is that you have propulsion on it. You need to move it from a finding to actually a solution. And we all know when people get SMS messages and emails, that's often forgotten. So in checked, you send off the task. You can see when it's approved, both with color and a corresponding ring around it and showing how many percentages you have uh, achieved on your task. 
and when they have uh, done it, it will be blue and it's up to the project manager or you as a safety inspector to see if you're satisfied with, the rect uh, with how they rectify it and then approve it. As I said, you don't need to just point in a drawing uh, and, and looking around and, and just putting things in a drawing by free your free mind. You can follow a checklist or a routine. And if you find uh, maybe there is garbage in the emergency or escape uh, route, then you can click that in the checklist. You can put it into the drawing where it is and delegate that to the responsible company or person. And then you move on. You click off some things that are okay, some things that are not ap applicable for this project. And then you find another place where there is also a lot of garbage in, uh, in the emergency uh, or escape uh, route. So again, you make a new deviation in your checklist. You add that to the drawing in a different location and you give it to the company responsible for that problem. So the routine will actually just help you to remember what you should look for. And wherever you find problems, it will generate the task that you put into the drawing and you delegate it to the responsible person. So at the end, you will have a very good uh, safety report from your safety inspection. But in addition to this dead report that you very often have elsewhere, uh, elsewise and, and can send by, uh, um, by email, you will now have a report that you have digital and can send to anyone. You can print it and put it up on the wall. If you have a, a security uh, wall uh, or an information wall uh, at the construction site. But the most important thing of all is that the items that you found and log will be turned into tasks that you can follow up on individually. So you don't have a dead report. You actually have living tasks in your project. And we will look on that uh, in uh, the next uh, round here. So. Let's move to a live project. I will open up my UK demo. So if I write UK here, anything which is not with UK will disappear and I will take my UK demo. Uh, and up comes my uh, items. But right now I will also show you the drawings. So I could do a safety inspection here in front of Buckingham Palace. Or maybe I could do a safety inspection round inside Buckingham Palace. So whatever you have uh, of uh, background, you can use that for your information. So let's also pull in the smartphone here because that is what you typically use when you are in the field. I can make it a little bit bigger um, here and now. So let's say that I want to go into my UK project here as well, UK demo. I select my drawings if I wanted to work on drawings, but right now I want to do a safety inspection round. So I click the plus sign and here I have my HSEQ inspection. So this is done today. I started this at let's say 1500. So 1500 I started. I can say what's the meeting point and who are the participants. I can fill in all of that information. When I save this, it's automatically connected to the project that you see behind here. So when I now walk around here and do my inspection, it will be connected directly to the project. You can do it the old way with the checklist like, is the wall okay? Yes or no. But the question is, what should we look for? What is okay? How many walls have we checked, etc.? And also we can link to documents that are stored otherwise in a document archive or maybe a web page where we can read about uh, safety inspections. So that's a good way of doing it. A better way is if you can say if the roof is okay, yes or uh, or no, and also add a comment to this and write in your comment. That's better. And also here we can have some information and add some pictures on what you should look for. So that's that's also good, but. Uh, let's see uh, how this can be done the best way. And that is by uh, having a possibility of saying if something is okay, you cannot do that until you are done with your safety inspection round. You can say if something is non applicable, but maybe during your round, you will see a problem with noise and vibration. So you have a deviation. 
So you see then a plus sign comes up. So instead of just writing in the information, I can click that plus sign and now I have an item which is called noise and vibration. I can directly put that into my floor plan uh, at the right uh, location like this. If I don't have a floor plan, it will just be in a task list. That's no problem, but we see that drawings really help. And most people have a floor plan or a picture of what they're working on. So after I've done that, I will typically take a picture showing that um, here we have uh, the uh, metal uh, plate that's actually vibrating when people are walking on it. So this is the issue that I have and I can mark up the, the reason for that if I want. And if I know the person who is responsible for fixing this problem, well, then I click the assigned task from my list of my employees and subcontractors. I simply select the person and I click save. You will then see that task number 33 pops up just next to my phone here, but I come back to my safety inspection report, HSCQ inspection, so I continue to do my job checking the fences and gates, the tidiness, etc. So fences and gates are okay. Tidiness is never okay. Okay, so I find a new deviation and I log it. I find another deviation and I log that too. So you can use the items several times, write different text on them and connect them to the drawing if you like. And at the end, when you've gone through your whole safety inspection rounds, you can put in additional uh, info in your checklist. And of course, you can sign off saying that you are done. Click my checklist. And when I've done that, I'm done. And I can move on to do other parts of my job. So what just happened? Well, the item that I found is here. And uh, in my archive, which is here of my reports. I have my safety inspection round, my HSEQ inspection here. Three items found, started today at 15.11, ended 15.15. I can click it. I will get up the exact same protocol that I had on my phone. So I can prove for anyone that I have run through my inspections and, and checked off my items. But the best thing is that the findings that I did are here and I can delegate them and follow up on them. So here I have an item. Now I know that I need to delegate it to someone. So I give this task to this person. So now I have it delegated here, another one open here. And at the bottom of my report, I can see the status of them. They are all in my task, um, uh, in my task list. If I check the items for my UK demo, I can see that I have an issue here with the heat work from my HSEQ. I have a broken window from earlier here, and I have some noise and vibration problems as well, also from my HSEQ round. So if I click this, it will open, uh, it will open up, and I can see that it's connect connected to my inspection report, it's connected to my drawing, and it has the corresponding picture. The last thing I need to do is to send this report to someone. I can also include items that are previously fixed. I don't want everything. I only want things that are uh, HSEQ. So I select HSEQ. Only three items are HSEQ. I select them and I click create report. Give it a name like this. I can write a further in description here if I like. I click generate and in a few seconds I have a report showing me in details what my findings were, where they are with corresponding pictures. I can send this report to anyone I like uh, as a PDF or just share it as a link, get a signature back and it will be archived. I can lock it and my safety inspection round is done. So how easy is that? You simply use a drawing. You just point at the drawing in your phone where you have your problems. You take a picture of it and 
you delegate it to the person responsible. And then you follow up on live, either in a floor plan or in a list view. You are in control with your reports and the following up of your tasks. So that was HSEQ done easily in Checked. Hope to see you soon for another webinar. Bye. Uh...